But I will say, I want to move to Europe so badly because I felt so light when I was there. Like the really? food, I didn't feel stuff like I had pasta, a yeah. bowl of pasta that if I'm here in the States, I'm like, oh my God, I'm stuffed. But there I was like, that was good. Went, walked to my hostel. I didn't feel like I ate anything. I experienced the exact same thing when I went to Italy. It's like, like oh my God, I'm hungry. when I eat pasta here, like, yeah, bloated, you feel gross. Disgusting. Eating pasta in Italy felt great. It's because we put so many preservatives and bullshit in our food here that they don't do in Europe. It's crazy. They have like health codes there. Yeah. Which- yeah. No, they have, <clears throat> no, they, they, there are chemicals that we put in our food here in the United States that are banned in other, um, in other countries. Yeah. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I even had five guys in Paris well, and like. usually like fast food. I don't like it because it makes me feel like gross. I have hot girl bath, bad problems, like bathroom problems. Oh, mm-hmm. oh we've talked about this. <laughs> I don't know if we should go into detail, but you've told me some pretty fucking funny stories. I poop in my car. Oh, my God. OK, <laughs> we can talk about this. Can we please talk it's about totally this? Fine. OK, okay yes. <laughs> I think everyone knows I have like hot girl bathroom problems. This is my favorite Jenna Fox story. So, okay. So what, what you like refuse to poop in like public bathrooms, right? Refuse. Like or on anyone's set house, or anyone's on house. Set. When I first met Julia, I was going to her house like every day and I would at some point be like, I'm going home. Julia can take me home because I wasn't driving at the time. And this was my first move down here. And she's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. We're talking about Julia Ann, by the way, for anyone who wants to know. Yeah, just take me home. And she's like, okay. She's like, why did you leave so abruptly? I had to poop. <laughs> I would leave her house every time I had to poop. And she's like, just poop. I'm like, no. Yeah, Julia, of all people, would not care. I'm like, I'm going to blow up your bathroom. I'm okay. So how do you poop in your car? How does this work? Like, I know you've told me, but like, I feel like logistically this makes no sense to me. But you seem to have it down. <laughs> I have a little poop toilet. That I got from Amazon. Oh, I, so like, you actually upgraded to a toilet because I feel like yeah, the last time we talked, you it was just in a bag. used a bag. <laughs> Listen, when you gotta go, you gotta go, and, and I re- you got it clearly in your car <laughs> is I used where to you keep, have to like, go. Like little grocery bags in my car and baby wipes, sanitizer, and it's like a little wooden thing that you get like the markets and you light it, and it's like a incense thing. Yeah, <sighs> I would just sit in the back of my car, pull out the bag, squat. Put it under me and poop. In the are you so wait where are you in the back seat? Sometimes I'm in the front seat. <laughs> and people don't see you. I guess not. I pull over somewhere that I'm like hidden a little bit, but no, it's like I'm. It almost is like I'm just sitting because I'm like sitting on my. Knees. I just feel like this would be so, <laughs> like. Have you ever like lost your balance and fallen and then like fallen into the bag of poop? That's what I would be scared of. And then, like, you really have a mess on your hands. I try not to because when I have to go and it's that severe, it's bad. So I'm like, don't, don't, don't touch the poop. Don't fall in the poop. And then I tie it up and I find like a trash can. (laughs) So, so now you're using a a wooden toilet, a wooden toilet? (laughs) No, it's just a little, one of those little plastic portable toilets. And I put it like under me and I like sit there like I'm chilling. So now you have like a proper, has it, have you ever had anyone in your car who's like, why is there a fucking portable toilet in your car? No, I keep it in the trunk. Oh, okay. That's good. But I change it out every time. I don't poop like in the toilet. I put a bag in right. the toilet and poop right. in it. Right. No, I understand that. But I like to change it because I feel like bacteria. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I have, I have a bad poop. Oh my God. One time I was coming from sushi and I hadn't had it in so long. I had spicy garlic and amame, my favorite. And I could not make it home. I almost crapped myself in the car. Oh my so I had to pull over on the highway while there's cars zooming past me. And I'm just pooping. I'm just <laughs> looking at the cars go past me. I just see that, like a cop pulling up behind you and then like coming and knocking on the door. I mean like, ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? You're like, I'm no. just pooping in my car. It's fine. <laughs> Sometimes I, I can't make it home. And I just sit there and poop. I'm like, it's fine. I've even sent screenshots to Julia. I'm like... In my car. <laughs> I mean, there's people out there with poop fetishes. You can probably start a whole side, like, only I get so this. many DMs to poop. Like, really? To because poop? they know about your no. car pooping situation or just because? Just because they want poop videos right. or, like, fart videos. I'm yeah. Like, 
no, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not sending you guys this. Like, yeah. they don't care about my face being in it. They just want to see me poop. I'm like, yeah. no, I'm missing out on a whole market here. You really are. Because another girl posted the other day. She's like, I make so much money just sending guys my poop. And I was like, maybe this is a sign that I should start doing it. Because I'm just pooping for free at this point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why would you do that? Um, I mean, just think about how you, the portable toilet that you could upgrade to in your car. I mean, you could bu- you could get a whole car customized with a special toilet seat in the back for you to just poop in. Dude, great. I wish they did pimp my ride still because <gasps> I feel like <laughs> <laughs> ever so many stories about just that show alone. But we could take you there, and they could like literally put a toilet. The seat in- could like come up to like oh my god a toilet in the back, and maybe like music plays, and there's like an Ambiance. automatic like air freshener thing. That would be heaven. I've heard that the bathrooms in Japan are like that. That like the 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 toilets in Japan, like in public places, are like really incredible, and like they like play music and they like have a whole like thing. I'd be in there all day, just chilling. Yeah, on the toilet. I it, those of you who've been to Japan, let me know if I'm <laughs> correct, but I have heard this that like there's some pretty like their their public toilet situations pretty fabulous. You have to pay for toilets in Paris. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, same in Italy too. And I remember too, I would pay for a toilet and it would be a hole in the ground. <laughs> and I would be like, this is not. And also, like, they don't have toilet seats sometimes. Yes. What the fuck is that? In my hostel, I went to the bathroom and I was like, Am yeah. I missing something? So I went downstairs. I was like, hey, I think it's missing a toilet seat. He's like, no, that's just the toilet. I was like, where do I, how do I sit? Do I squat? Like, Girl, you poop in. in. You poop in your car. Okay, you of all people can navigate that lack of a toilet seat I know, situation. But it was like, <laughs> I would like a toilet seat if I could have one, but <laughs> but you don't need one. No. Yeah, you're. You're. I feel like you could adapt to that. 